hello welcome to my kit videos today i want to show you how to wire and program the w3230 thermostat okay so if you look behind turn it uh -huh, if you look behind we have the the plus and the minus we have s1 and s2 all right and then as you can see it is 220 volts all right so we are talking of 220 volts input okay so we are going to take you through the wiring we have our bulb here we are going to use as our heater okay okay so show us the wires you are going to use as your life and neutral this life the red as life this neutral and the black as neutral okay so we are going to connect the life and the neutral okay so we are going to twist two wires show us the two wires okay all right this is how it looks like okay very short so that okay you can push it in into the positive and make sure all your wire goes in so that you don't have any naked part of the wire make sure your wires are well secured okay all right so show us there's no naked wire showing yeah okay all right so we are going to loop to s1 i think the naked part is too long so you can cut then to s1 very good we are going to get another wire brown wire and that's going to connect from s2 from s2 okay to one terminal of our bulb All right. Okay, and that's going to go to one side of our bulb. Okay. Now we are going to connect our black wire to the neutral, which is the G and D minus. So he's connecting the black wire. Okay, so we've been able to connect the black wire, okay, to the G and D. Now the last thing we have to do is to connect the second terminal of the bulb to neutral, okay? Either we bring it to uh, gen ND or we can just cut part of this wire. Let's cut.
and then you use your insulation tip to tape it well. Now I'm going to join that wire to the second terminal of the ball. Okay, so we are done with our wiring. Let's go through before we power it. So we have our two wires which will be going to our power source, the plug. We are using red as our life and black as neutral. So red goes all the way to the plus. Okay, the plus. And then there is a short wire that connects from the plus all the way to S1 okay and then from S2 we have a wire that goes to the bulb okay all right and then from the other side of the bulb it goes to join this and they all go to the V minus all right so this is how we have it and we are going to power it now Okay, so we have our two wires going in there. Uh -huh. Put it on. Yes, so this is how it lights up. I want to show you how to set your W3230 temperature controller. So as you can see, we have the bulb on. The bulb always comes on when this red light comes on. When the red light goes off, it means your bulb should also go off. All right the red number shows the actual temperature around the sensor right now okay and then the blue number shows you the temperature you have set for the bulb to go off i'm using my bulb as my heater so anytime i say bulb i mean heater all right so now let's set the temperature at which we want our heater to go off okay so i like to use 37.8 degrees Celsius for my eggs so I'm going to press the set button okay I'm going to press the set button once as it's blinking I'm going to use the arrow to increase it to 37.8 37.8 is the temperature at which I want my heater to go off okay 37.8 so you leave it and then to stop blinking if it stops blinking it means it has saved what you've set okay so the next thing we are going to set is the p0 okay so i'm going to hold the set button for five seconds okay i have to hold the set button for five seconds okay so you see p0 i'm going to press the up button to get the h okay because i want to use it to control a heater okay so it's going to be h if i'm going to use it to set and uh, control a cooler i'm going to leave it at c okay so i'm going to do it again hold the set button then you release so I've set my P0H, I'll press set, P1, I'm going to reduce it to 0 0.3, I like to use 0 0.3. This is the difference between the upper and the lower temperature. So the upper temperature minus the lower temperature should give you P1, okay. So I'm going to hold it. So my P0 is set to H, my P1 is set to 3. These are the important ones to set. You can ignore these ones, which is the upper temperature alarm, lower temperature alarm, and this is for calibration, calibrating your sensor. 
P5 is for delay function. If you want the load to delay before coming on, you use P5. P6, we are not going to use all this. I'm going to talk about P8. Okay, P8 is, is used to factory reset your your thermostat okay so let's say you come and your thermostat is jammed up you there someone has done some settings which is making the system confused okay all you need to do is just restart or reset the thermostat and here's how to do it you hold the sets when you see p0 you leave it you press set 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 so you get to p8 when you get to p8 i'm going to press the arrow up so that we get on then you leave it and then it's going to restart all right so this is how it restarts for you to bring out your fresh settings all right so when you are doing your wiring please make sure all your wires are well buried into the terminal so that i don't have naked wires touching each other thank you if you like the video please subscribe uh, or hit the like button and then comment below if you think this was a good video thank you